Yeah. But anyway, let's get into the picks and bands. So the band is going to be very standard setup bands that Chaos usually ban. This is actually the lineup that they ran on their first game today. So this is so far the lineup that uh, Chaos ran their first game exactly, minus the Warlock now, and the lineup Thunder Predator just ran last game. Yeah, so this is, uh, this will be something. Because uh, right now I guess they could think that this might be a course fen and a four puck. I really hope Chaos uh, don't think that. But they, they if they watched any bit of the last game, which I think they did, uh, they'll understand that uh, that's not the case. Uh, but let's see. So the first set of bands is very straightforward. Chaos Five banned actually exactly remaining. what they banned last game that they played. Uh, Thunder Predator banned the Razor and Disruptor, so they were watching their game at the same time. Maybe their manager was like, hey, I'm going to stream snipe their game, so you know yeah. what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll see that they, rather than banning Broodmother first phase against uh, this team like they did the Pacific, they, they banned the Lash, which is a little more meta, and I guess that definitely confirms what we were saying, that Pacific just has some Giga Brood player. Yeah, it, it, it was definitely just a pocket Brood spammer guy, so... Good on them for reading the situation, because I'm sure if they let that brood one uh, get away one time, it probably would have been the death of them. Um, so first pick, Vengeful Spirit. Following that is the Puck and Sven. So uh, very standard usually is that it is a four Sven. But uh, like I was stating, that uh, these three heroes at the very beginning, uh, both Puck and Sven, they technically played as four. So they're not really revealing their lineup immediately here, but I think with the Doom, now they're revealing that the... Uh, the puck is a core and the spends the four. The Lord of Darkness himself, dude. The Doombringer. Yeah, isn't that your son? That's my son. That's what <laughs> I like to see. At least I think that's how Doom works. Unless he is... Ten seconds no, he's remain. not... Uh... He's not actually Satan, right? Five seconds. Realize... I don't know, dude. He used to be the Hellbringer. Uh, mm. Between Warlock and Doom, we've got lots of, lots of hellish creatures coming out. Yeah, and then there's Ember Spirit, who is also red, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> that literally has no effect on this game whatsoever when it comes to the, uh, the, the Doom. To the lore. Threat. Yeah, to the lore threat. Um, so the Witch Doctor, like we were stating, it is actually literally just a Thunder Predator. Sniper. What? That is a pick I haven't seen. No, you know what? I'm wrong. I, I actually have seen Sniper played recently. I haven't seen him picked as a fourth pick, though. Yeah, it's, uh, I it's mean, I guess when you have pick first up. pick, when you have a first pick, it's the same thing as picking it last pick, but, well, I mean, fifth pick, uh, remaining. but it feels like they have a lot of jump for a sniper. I don't know, that hero is super annoying to play against, especially with the recent knockback changes, made it even worse than it already was. Yeah, so, it's a pretty weird pickup that you'd pick up at four, but, uh, you know... They're the pro players, and uh, we're the pro-ish casters. Here, I XD. <laughs> I, gave, I gave you some slack, but that means I'm also pulling myself back with that slack. So, um, they will last ban out the Spectre. I think that's a perfect ban, but they immediately removed that queen from the game. Um, so they might think that this is not a mid-puck. I think this is do they think that this is a safe puck i'm I sure yeah i don't i don't know but i don't think that's even a playable matchup puck against sniper i think you have to make an adjustment yeah and they pick up the monkey king so if they make an adjustment that's adjustable to a sniper pick they now have monkey they could run instead both of yeah, these heroes yeah. actually you know i hate saying this but i've seen it before aggro offlane sniper yeah it's a yeah, thing. It's... You go three one one because you get farmed through shrapnel. So yeah. and uh, this is um, Weha now has a one hundred percent pick rate for um, Monkey King this tournament. He has played him every game so far, and he's done very well. So I guess what we're hoping for is is that Thunder Predator doesn't pick Marana. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just for for the sake of our entertainment, please do not pick Marana. Yeah, we already had a Marana run through in game number two, I think, because that wasn't game one, right? That was nope, that was else game. One. Chris okay. Brown with his twenty minute mm -hmm. tread the Mjolnir. Uh, 
I do not really like this enchantress. I haven't. I didn't know that hero was around anymore. I know she just got changed, but do you happen to remember what the change is? I thought it was to uh, just to enchant. I don't even think she's had any seven one D change. Uh, seven seven two one D changes. I mean, we'll know in a minute here, but uh, I don't think she's had any like significant changes that affect her immediate. I think she had an impetus buff as well. Not 100% sure. So what are we doing anyway? I think I've casted a tune before. I'm pretty sure he's the mid. So, Matthew. Wait. Do you remember last game at all was Draken? Draken was not the Sven. I'm, yeah, no, I'm not Matthew sure. Uh, I know, I know Frank was the brewmaster, so he was their offlaner. Is this a safe Sven? This is a safe Sven then. Because then Matthew was the Sven last game, which was four, and now he's Puck. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, man. This is, uh, we'll find out soon, I suppose. Yeah, we'll find out after the uh, 30 seconds of trying to buy things to say while uh, the 30-second strat time goes down. One time I actually had a team pause right in this, like, specific period of time. So you had to find the 30 seconds to talk about stuff, and then I had, like, a two-minute pause. And it was, like, a very hard time for me. I almost broke out the dad jokes. That's always my last resort as a caster, is to Google dad jokes. Definitely not what I want to hear as your co-caster <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, I mean, that's... Here's the thing. That's what happens when I'm solo, uh, and there's just uh, one yeah. caster, which is just me. So, let's see. What do we got? Well, this work. Let's look at this Sven build. <laughs> here. Yeah. No quelling blade, but... Usually a stout shield signifies he's Korish, so I want to think he is safe, and since, you know, the witch doctor's going with him, winning. yeah, he's the safe lane against this Ember healthy, Spirit. Healthy bet. Hmm? That's a healthy bet, but this, interesting enough, this this guy has a Sher Tango on him. It's, it looks like it's going to be a mid-enchantress. Yeah, it's a mid-enchantress. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you remember what I said about pinging people's items? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't care. I don't really care, except for the fact that I just said that I did. But you know what I mean. So what you're seeing is there's a Satan Dota playing in game as a character. That is true. You are, I guess Satan. You're in this game, technically. Why aren't you? Why, why are you talking to me and not playing? Come on. It's a work. Anyway, I will introduce the side of the Radiant. And uh, you will hit Thunder Predators. For the first side on the side of Chaos, we will have Sniper in the mid. HFN will be the Pew Pew Man himself. Vengeful Spirit will be played by Tavo. Following that will be Warlock by Kinga. Lucky King will be played by Weeha as uh, Amaterasu once more. Bob Bounty Room picked up by Misery. And at the same time, Tavo is going down. And then Ember Spirit will be played by Misery. So, uh, on the dire, we have Matthew for uh, Thunder P. We have, uh, I actually can't see this Wish Doctor's name. Prada. Uh, Coco something. Oh, I have him as Prada. Oh, okay. Do you not well, see Prada there? You nah, just see Coco. Nah, that's his spot. I'm just an idiot. We have Drake <laughs> on the spin, Frank on the Doom, and a tune on the Enchantress. Cool. Now back up the top where we see a stun go out immediately back on to Misery, because Misery tried to go for kill on Prada, and he will now pay for it with his life. So that is a 2-0 already. Chaos not in the greatest of positions. His first blood drawn already, and Weeha had basically no HP down in the bot against this, uh... You're not getting what you came for. Actually, yeah, there's a lot of damage in this bot lane, so this will be very hard for him to deal with. Dude doesn't have Infernal Blade yet, but uh, when he does, that's, that's literally going to make it really bad. Manky Kang is the nickname for Monkey King, by the way. So if you ever hear me see Man Manky Kang, that's why. Unless I say Sun Wukong. Sometimes I like Wukong better. Misery going for Searing Chains at 1 instead of the Sleight of Fist in the previous game where we saw the Ember Spirits. 4. 4 5. What do you four, think four, constitutes four. that change? What do you think? Do you think he's getting chains because they have kill potential? Um, what do you. Like, you use Sleight of Fist more to harass, right? Yeah, you use it really to just, like, 
get that earlier damage in as much as possible. I guess in this game, in this scenario, they're running a a 2-2 instead of in the previous game where they had to TP somebody up to top and make it a, a 3 safe lane. Where now we see that Monkey King, by the way, Weeha down in the bot, getting burnt away ever so slowly by Frank, who actually went scorched earth in 2. We'll find the kill, but Frank indefinitely going down on the tower to the uh, little warlock bot. But uh, I think it's in this scenario because they're against like a Sven and they're running a, a dual lane, I feel like the chains is much better because he can't really do much early anyway. And uh, that makes it more viable for him to get that Easter rune. That by Matthew, they're looking to get the jump on HFN. Is that you pinging that or was that somebody else pinging that? Oh, wait, you can see other people's pings? I can see your pings and I can see... Oh, um, the players, right, right. Players pings. I just didn't know because I thought it was, uh, it looked yellow at one point. Gotcha, gotcha. There is a Monkey King in the game. I know you want that regen, Weehaw. I know you want that regen. Yeah, he got it, Matthew. Getting clicked on now, and uh, he'll be able to listen. I love using that ability now. Mischief giving you the, like, what, point five seconds? Or something like it's that? Point it's two. Vulnerability? two. Point okay. two. Yeah, there you really have to time that spell. It's also an and, uh, extremely big difference. Yeah, and they changed it, um, so it's not actually invulnerability anymore, it's immunity to damage, which the change in that means you can still get stunned, you can still get silenced, stuff like that, you can't just dodge projectiles, you'll still get hit with a stun, you just won't be taking the damage from those things, so that is a pretty big change. Yeah, because back then you were even able to dodge hook, like I saw a picture, or not a picture, I saw like, you know, the 5 second gif animation of like him dodging hook getting picked by like whoever was behind him for that hook which yeah that was my uh that was my go-to pick against Kunkka because you 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 see his hand moving and then you just press your mischief and you're just mm -hmm. dodging x marks like it's just like that can't do that anymore you are people are bming me for googling dad jokes instead of actually making my own Watch Twitch chat. You're telling you me probably you deserve it. Up. Probably deserve it. You should know some. I mean, Twitch chat. Come on. You think you can come up with a dad joke off the spot when you're in the middle of a pause game back up on top? So this is getting gone on. Yeah, he's getting clicked on, but they're trying to find the return on Prada. At least they will get the kill on Prada, but misery goes down, and that's a killing spree for Dragon. This is extremely good for Sven this early in the game, who's also only 16 and 5. CS. So, yes, so 16 and 5, three hero kills, no deaths just yet, and five denies. Which I, I said 16 and 5 like 5 times, but whatever. Yeah, it's a very, very good start. This is where you want to be a spin. Yeah, especially as a course spin. I, I foresee like this blink dagger rush being huge. Uh, as I did point out though, we do see the sniper in this scenario. So it's not the mid aggro offlane sniper, so on and so forth. He still goes for the 3 1 against the Enchantress because shrapnel damage is really good. And actually, it just got buffed like really strongly in the sense that it's a 40 second cooldown now. For the recharge time, now you pick up that 25 CDR talent, it's back to 30 seconds. That is literally the ho ho ha ha meta. Yeah, if you if you cast the full duration shrapnel, you're actually just never out of shrapnel. Mm, mm, this is what I love seeing as a sniper player. Oh, pop the third shrapnel. Oh, he did it. Oh, he's gonna get it. Yeah, he got it. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> he does get the kill, but back down his bottom. Weeha. Might be in a bit of trouble. Infernal play to the face. Matthew is going to be within one quick range of heal, but he will get the immunity for one second. They might find the kill on Matthew. No uphill miss. They get that one easy peasy. They will pick up the bounty runes. What is this? Looks like it is a 2 2 even grab, and King Al is just like, I gotta get out of here. Back up the top. Okay, yeah, Sven's perfectly fine. I don't know why I need to keep on checking on that. Back in mid, though, we do see a possible rotation. Out goes the casket, the bongo. Not gonna not gonna bounce on anybody, actually. It's not even remotely close to a range for the bounces. That means, uh, you need to shut up, Satan. <laughs> You're literally not saying anything anyway. I did see the kill, don't worry. They're actually probably gonna get prod off of this too. They have shackles in one. Ah, well. They do not. So let's push my mic. Be quieter. There. 
Now you get no happiness. You are now the quiet caster. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Uh, just as, as good as it, you would think. I'm glad you think that way. I sure don't. We are? Come on, man. I know you want to throw that staff. Oh, he's silenced, though. He wants to get the high life steal, but it's going to be at the cost of maybe his life here. No, the Warlock heal is going to be there, so they'll be able to heal up no problem. Bouncy bounce. And he's also going to solve as well. They do have the sniper rotation coming in. No ward to spot it out immediately, though. Matthew already has an orb going out, which means there is no catch for that one. Shrapnel available. If he goes to the left, he went to the right, and there's no way to interrupt this immediately as there is no stun available for Monkey. Well, actually, there was, like, a second. And it just came off yeah. cooldown. I don't know if he would have gotten it in a time. Would yeah, have been because real there's close. also the cast timer as well, so... Which, you know, not an actual cast timer. There's the animation timer, which is basically cast timer. Packet loss! Dude, gives me some time to eat this, this sloppy Joe that's been taunting me. Wait, you... You could order a sloppy Joe. Wait, what yeah, food a, place it's a, orders? It's a local local oh, okay. sub place. Gotcha. It's a okay. That makes that makes perfect sense. I wish I actually had a place where I could like be like, hey, I want my sloppy Joe. I remember having that that as a kid though, like almost every other like night or so for dinner. Super good. <laughs> You're making me. In... Now I wish I had food. Well, actually, I do have food. I Chex Mix, which isn't. Ooh. Yeah, I yeah, I've got so much food in here. I, I'm I'm so prepared <laughs> for nuclear fallout. Um, bottle will be the pickup for misery ember spirits, so we'll just be going utility as well. I really like utility builds for ember spirit. Like you see them go the Yules. Oh my goodness, Frank diving Weeha, but sniper's still here. Shapno goes out. They're gonna zone him out as much as possible. Weeha clicking away. Boo! Out goes the sniper ultimate to claim the kill. I set Pew way too early. Actually, I forgot it still has the oh, two second already. charge timer. Is uh yeah, two second aim duration. Why is it called aim duration? That is so weird. Sven ultimate being expended for this three man stack. One, two, three. All the witch doctor gets that money. Oh, Witch Doctor actually has like zero armor this game. Keep the rotation yeah, you being expended for bot. I want to try and get this jump on the Monkey King. Monkey this King. Witch Doctor is going to have a very hard time staying alive in fights. Weeha! Out goes the cast, and that is one very dead Monkey Man. This isn't the end. I'm pretty sure this is the end. You just died. So, uh, what do we go for here anyway? Yeah, so let's look at our CS still leading the top of the CS at 50 and 9. Now no longer leading the top of the CS at 50 and 9. Is the Sven who's just picked up his Morbid Mask. We'll switch to the, uh, what did I just walk into? Ember 5? Uh, no, Ember 4, I believe. Is it Ember 5? Warlock's got more money than him. It might be Ember 5. It's probably Ember 5. Anyway, I, I changed my mind. Let's go to the net worth, where we see Sniper leading the net worth at 3.8. He's got triple wraith bands into power treads, into a casual band of elven skin, which will most likely turn into the Dragon Lance. Uh, following that will be the Sven running at 3.9. Now actually tied with the Sniper is going to go for Mask of Madness in 75 gold. Stun goes out to try and confirm the top tower, and they will get that. Following that will be the Vengeful running at 4-1, but we're seeing its fight engage on the bottom where we see Weeha trying to get the return jumps on these uh, three hero rotations. EP rotation coming in by King Al with level 3 Shadow Word for the heal on Weeha if and when they do that. Rock goes down, they drop it, and they get an easy kill on Matthew with the good old Slide of the Shackle combo. They're looking for more though, Misery just clicking away, but yeah, they're going to disengage from that one. Or are they bottle crowing? They want to try and get that rune, but there is no rune to grab just quite yet. And I don't think they'll be able to contest this one. In fact, Enchantress Seal is going to be there. Witch Doctor drops down Malzik. Now they're looking for a return kill on the back lines. They will get Prada. He goes down immediately. The TP was going to be put down by the Ember Spirit. They will disengage for that one. The Dire Courier actually gets sniped. 
So, ow, that is pretty bad because that is his Mask of Madness. DD on the sniper, he's clicking away. They get two. HFN going to work with that fresh DD rune pickup. I believe that was right in front of him, too. It was indeed. So, yeah. so while that fight was going on, the puck and the spin go on the sniper. The puck stands in front and tries to body block the sniper while he has DD, and the Viz just comes up. And I mean, they just turn that 1v2 so hard. Yes, indeed, and they, uh, they get that easy tier, tier 1 tower in the mid here. Tavo threatening with a bit of a wave of terror. You have both swaps available, actually. You know, I've seen a lot of pub games, and I've actually seen maybe a couple pro games where I, I didn't actually catch that, but I, I, I saw it visually for like one second. Um, I've so I'm not actually sure how he saw him in there. I don't know if... I don't know if those trees give him vision, but he just looked like a blind uh, boundless strike into the trees and he got the doom. Well, it might be... Uh, well, Tree Dance does give you vision. I can't remember if Tree Dance gives you vision upon leaving a previous tree. But... Oh, Sven. Being caught out by the uh, support misery in the back lines here. Still with no Mask of Madness. Sad boy, because the courier is dead. With his uh, stick. His quarter stat. It's basically a stick. Um, I feel bad because I think this is going to be another game where we're going to see the supports on Thunder Predator having literally no gold as we see the Witch Doctors at 960 gold. Yeah, Although, it does, it does look that way. the Bane had 300, or the Bane was at that point when it was like, what, 30 minutes in? Ooh, what is this, a double? This is a triple stack down in the bot here, and Draken does not have the HP to fight this, but uh, he, he will try his best here. He will try his best. So this chaos team has just been like eat like just destroying early game so hard. Like it's 12 minutes in, they're now at 7k advantage. Uh, last game, I think it was 18 minutes in, they were at 12k advantage. Like uh, people just haven't been able to stop their early game. What do you think they need to be doing different to figure out like to to stop them from just stomping over the early game? I think it's really just the a fact of they just need to ban that Ember Spirit if they really want to try and prevent this because it seems like the Ember Spirit four is literally what is giving them that early game advantage. I I don't want to say a lot of people don't expect the uh, the four Ember Spirit, but uh, in this patch I've been seeing four Ember Spirit picked up in a really strangely large amount, and uh, it's just so good how Searing Chains is at every single level because you know you don't have to use Flame Guard. And uh, it literally saves you so much time. Misery is going to be able to get the kill while the Doom is still going to work on the Monkey King. The heal is not available. The Witch Doctor cast will confirm his death. The deny. Oh, they're not going to let him deny. They're going to heal him up, but which means the Toon's coming on in. They want to try and find him. They want to really bad. No body box available, though. Weeha is going to try and turn this bad boy around as he does have stun available as well. Okay, they didn't find him. <laughs> oh, hang on. Nope, okay, they're, they're not going to try and go on him here. It's really hard, actually, to jump on the tune here. So I like the Echo Saber build. I want to think this might be a Silver's Edge game. And there's, like, there's two... Oh, you can run Silver's Edge on the Monkey King, or you can actually uh, run Silver's Edge on the Sniper, who is going to go for Lightning, has the casual Yash. He's got a lot of farm, sitting at 7-4 at the 14-minute yeah, mark. He has uh, double his opposing mid player's uh, gold, about a little less. I mean, let's be honest, it's basically double even if it's not. Because, I mean, what do we even have on this Enchantress? She has no physical item. She is going to go for drums, though. Weeha popping ultimate, not interrupted in time, so it is going to go down on Draken. Out goes the rock, smashing on the ground. Draken, though, drops the stun on the back line. It's going to land on King Out, King Out alone, which Dark Dome ultimate going off in the back lines as well. Literally is going on absolutely nobody. It was not in range. Misery is not done yet, though. They want to get the jump. He's going down. The burn is going to be there. Misery finds the kill as well. This will work indeed. <laughs> this was this was over before it started. It was indeed. I am loving. I am absolutely loving this warlock pickup now. I'm loving the warlock pickup. It's so strong. The position for Ember Spirit is doing so much work. Like the damage that comes off the of searing chains at max level is is absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure you still went for that even as like a support anyway. But he's got this extremely quick cooldown slide of fist, which is six seconds now. Well, it, it was always six seconds, but early game it's been heavily reduced. Out goes more damage. That's a dead doom. What were they even going to do? 
Now they're looking. They could they get the kill on Savo here. He's got enough dot damage on him. I think there's no getting out of this one. So he's dead one way or another. They do have Avenge Illusion, which isn't really going to provide anything immediately for them. Misery finds the kill on Prada. There is no remnant to jump to, other than the one that the Sven is rooted on top of. Misery jumps out, and he's out of there. And they, they try to anticipate him jumping to the low ground, which means he's now in the mid. No TP available, though, so he's just going to get some aggressive warding in with the remainder of his life. But that's not going to matter. They're not going to go for him, so he's... They're just getting out of there. He's perfectly fine. And something I have to mention, this this is a... Okay, so it's a 4 Ember Spirit, like we've already been talking about for so long. The 4 Puck is actually half of his net worth. So, like, they're, the Puck has not been able to accomplish as much as having an Ember Spirit around with the amount of damage that comes off the Searing Chains. Yeah, so this, this Chaos team has picked three of the same heroes. Is it three games? Uh, I know they picked Monkey King all three games. I think they picked Ember 2 and Venge 2. I think they picked Venge all three games as well. Um, I'm not sure why. Yeah, they picked Venge all three games as well. They played offlane twice and support once. I think people just need to start respecting their heroes. Like, stop getting the same thing every game. Then he's watching this poor, poor, now very dead Sven. And they do have rotations available for him. The Doom goes out following suit. But out goes the shackle, it doesn't really matter. Weha even stops Prada from the TP, and now they're cleaning up everybody. This could be a five-man wipe. They're looking for a toad. What are they gonna do to stun this bad boy out? They get the jump on him, the swap as well. Out to an immediate stun. Weha clicking away. They find the double kill. It's a five-man wipe almost immediately into the game. 23 and 7. Chaos is absolutely dominating, and this is a free Roshan. They're gonna walk down mid after this. There's so much. No way! <laughs> they already call the GG for game number one. Thunder Predator do not want to deal with this. And so we're gonna... seeing a, a 15k lead in 17 minutes. Uh, a 12k lead in 18 minutes. Like, uh, I think they need to start banning Ember Spirit or start banning Venge. Like, something. People just need to change something up to make these games playable. Yeah, because it seems like Chaos Esports is uh, completely unstoppable in comparison to their uh, play during the Major. Of course, they were stopped in the Major, but they still performed quite well. But at the same time, yeah, they need to start respect banning these specific Chaos, like, absolutely dominate the game heroes. But uh, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll still have another game coming up for you right around the corner. It'll be game number two between Chaos Esports Club and Thunder Predator. It's so weird to say Chaos Esports Club, but uh, I'll talk about that's that. Weird, that's a weird name. <laughs> well, I mean, it's that's why saying Chaos EC feels so much better. So but with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with gate number two.